Hey everyone, Caleb Scott here with United Agrivoltaics uh, with another solar grazing update for you. So today we're going to be talking about a couple things. One is grazing on pollinator sites. So here we have a pollinator site and as you can see there's a lot of uh, flowers coming up and th this particular site we wouldn't want to graze this just yet, right? We're going to want these flowers to come up and uh, and then we're going to bring the sheep in after they've bloomed. Um, but that does pose some 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 issues at some points, right? So you'll see things like this, right? These are this is some deady, dead woody stalks. The sheep aren't going to eat this, so they strip it down after it's been um, after it's been uh, gone to bloom. And another thing that I want to kind of bring to your attention are sites that are somewhat difficult to mow. So see, for example, here. There's a large boulder. Um, this is the sort of thing that would pose a lot of uh, difficulty for mowers. And this site in particular is strewn with boulders. Um, there's roots, there's ruts, um, all things that make it a very challenging site to mow, except the sheep really don't mind this. They can graze right around this without any problems and uh, continue to keep this site looking good and in compliance. So, um, Another great benefit for solar grazing. Uh, look forward to our next update and happy grazing everyone.